Hey, this is Greg Torres, and I'm out in Buttercup Valley here in Cincinnati. It's one of the greatest uh, Cincinnati parks that we have here in the city. And I wanted to show off today this sprawling mess of a plant. This is wild grape. And there's a number of wild grape species in the eastern United States. Uh, they're unlike a lot of other vining plants, they don't actually climb onto trees. They kind of like dangle from them. The reason for this is that they grow up with the tree. As the wild grape starts, it connects onto a, a younger tree and they grow up together. Uh, it does this by means of tendrils. The tendrils, they come out from the stem and they actually split in two on the ends. And that's one of the easiest ways to differentiate wild grape from a lot of other vines that have tendrils. Uh, so they come out and they wrap around a little stem and it climbs up with the tree as they grow. This one, as you can see, is quite thick. It's a big woody plant. Um, the bark is reddish like this. And as you can see, it kind of shreds off the plant. And that's another way to really differentiate it from a lot of other vines like this here. When I was young, these would be the vines that I would cut and then swing from them because, uh, like I said, they're just kind of dangling from the upper branches of these trees. When you cut them in the spring, this is just something I know, but I don't recommend doing this. They drip out a lot of water and you can actually just drink that water straight. Additionally, this plant, here we go. This plant produces uh, wild grapes. And these ones are not looking so good right now but in the autumn, around August, going into the fall, uh, it produces little packs of little grapes that are purpley black. A lot of birds and other animals will eat them, including myself. And then, of course, uh, as birds perch on other branches of trees, they'll poop out the seeds, and it kind of gets them a good start to grow right at the base of a new tree. So again, this is wild grape. There's a number of species throughout the United States, but if you're ever doing restoration work and you see some problematic vines, uh, climbing up trees. Try to avoid this one uh, in destroying it because it's actually a really great plant for wildlife and while it can sprawl out at the top of a tree and crowd out some of the, the upper branches with its own leaves, it doesn't really have the the same problem of like killing trees or completely drowning them out and creating like a vine desert 